a principal security engineer at Puma Security, and I'm one of the four authors for Sec540, which is cloud security and DevOps automation. Um, the key part of this course and, and what makes it so great, I think, is the, the authorship team that we have. Uh, very few SANS courses actually have four authors. And given the nature of the content that we present, which is this massive array of development, operations, cloud, and security kind of all covered over the course of five days, it truly takes four people in order to keep up with the technology stack and how things are changing in that space. Um, we've also got a lot of good minds from different areas of the industry on the authorship team. So Jim Bird is the CTO at a financial trading company up in Canada. So he's got a lot of very high level CTO style experience with going through compliance audits and dealing with auditors and building a DevOps program and still being compliant. So he brings a lot of that expertise to the table from the author perspective. Frank Kim, a former CISO at SANS and does a lot of CISO consulting work, also does the management curriculum at SANS, brings a lot of that high level infosec expertise and understands how security needs to work along with the dev teams in order to build secure products and secure the cloud. Ben Allen, who is a security engineer with SANS itself on the security team at SANS, comes from an operational background. So he brings a lot of operations in hardening systems and a lot of the automation that needs to happen on the ops side to the authorship team. Myself, I come from a development background. So I spent several years doing dev work and then application security audits for a large financial company. So I bring a lot of the more development focused uh, experience to the authorship teams. We have a nice, big, wide array of experience and all of us have built a course that we think fits what could be from a small startup all the way up to an enterprise in terms of building a cloud and DevOps program with security in mind. What do I personally love about teaching the class? It is an insane class to teach. Uh, when we built a real world lab infrastructure against the cloud, uh, the cloud changes every day. So as we teach it, the content is changing out from under our feet. So we're often using the material as talking points, but you kind of never know how a given day is actually going to turn out. So you're launching labs against AWS, for example, who makes a code change in production once a second. So a lab that has worked for two years might suddenly break some afternoon and because they change the way something works. And while it can be a little frustrating at times for students, I think it's a very real world experience in terms of what happens in real life. Nothing ever works like you think it will. So it keeps you on your toes. Um, the content is very fresh, very bleeding edge from a technology perspective. You know, we play with containers, we play with Kubernetes, we play with Docker, we play with cloud infrastructure code, Terraform. There's probably about 30 to 40 different tools that the students get to use over a five day span. And it's, it's very exciting to watch folks get comfortable and learn those over the course of a week. Students, I think, are loving the class and, and most of the folks showing up are information security backgrounded folks. And the reason that they're there and the reason that I think they need to take it is, we probably have all realized this at this point, but the cloud is not going anywhere. Uh, organizations are just building and building and building in the cloud, which really makes visibility difficult. So you cannot defend things in the cloud if you don't know how to monitor them track them for changes and automate their creation, their updates and their deletion over their time span. So that, that's our biggest goal in the class is to allow you to see what an automated compliant build pipeline for your cloud infrastructure would look like and the tools that can help you actually defend that and monitor it. That's what people walk out with and the biggest reason that I would recommend taking it. Uh, every day has a different goal, and the biggest takeaways are kind of just illustrated by the title of each day. So day one, our biggest takeaway is we want you to understand 
how development uses automation to build and deliver products to the world. Now we talk about security every step of the way and how we can improve that, but number one is just understanding the DevOps workflow and the tools and the security controls involved in that workflow. So that's kind of bullet point one. Day two, we look at it from an operational point of view. So getting our operations teams to build and provision systems using the workflow that we covered on day one. So we're moving away from checklists and manual steps on the op side and moving towards infrastructure as code and moving towards automating and building a cloud and our gold images using the same dev pattern. Day three, we move more into a cloud architecture and we talk about cloud security services and how to use that same life cycle to build and lock down a cloud using the same automated scripts and tools that we've used up to that point. So it's a slow escalation through day four and day five. We start to talk about compliance and monitoring and operations and from a security operations perspective, how to prevent configuration drift in the cloud and do that same DevOps process to build out our compliance teams.